Hey, how's it going? Just doing some early morning base maintenance, getting the rest of our teams kind of moved over here and situated, getting things sorted out. In the last video, we went ahead and moved our whole breeding barn from the other side of the base and put it over here. Looks fantastic, dude. The, uh, the landscape, man, is very, very nice, especially the water. So glad we have this over here now. But I went ahead and moved our two teams over here that we use for harvesting. Kangaroo for doing all of our berries as well as the uh, cactus sap. And then the mantis for, I mean, pretty much everything else. Metal, fiber, wood, things like that. And then we've got our saber for our hunting. And then this guy for our heavy hauler on the ground. So it's not too bad, dude. I like it. I like it. It's kind of tucked away over here, too. So we don't have to hear the creatures all the time. Mainly the sheep. These things are so noisy. But I did go ahead off camera and moved our whole SCS terminal, too. We got all of our breeders, at least the ones that are on this map. We got some over on the center. I need to move at a different point in time and bring them all over here. And then all of our sheep that we're using for hide. Those guys are getting XP and leveling up. And seeing how I got that moved over from over here, I went ahead and picked up the rest of the base that was over here. So it, it's kind of nice, man. Kind of weird, though, at the same time, because it's like, <laughs> it's totally open. Nothing over here. We always had that breeding barn ever since we moved in. So having this open looks super, super weird. Now, we are building the boss arena over here soon. But I figure for today, we'll take a break from building and then do some taming, right? We're going for the Oasis Soar. So it's another reason why I haven't built anything over here yet. Now, that thing is massive, dude. It is huge. Not exactly sure how to get it up here. But I'm thinking we can kind of put him right there. And I want to do some base building on him. Probably not today. Depends on how long the uh, taming takes for it. But I want to try to like build a small little base on there. Just to see what it's kind of like and how much we can actually put on the back of it. Now, there is a walkway to get up here. And all you have to do is... Go down through there, and then right over on the other side of the land bridge here, it kind of like goes up. The problem is, there's a lot of stuff over there. There's the Yudis, there's the Sarahs, you got Sabres, everything else in the world. Not sure what aggro's the Oasis Soar, if anything. We'll see, man, we'll see. It's probably a creature I won't ever use again, but I'm kind of curious about the taming, as well as the abilities on it. Now, for the taming, we did a small amount of research. We do got some of the Death Essence from our creatures. We'll probably grab some from the sheep, too. I'm hoping we won't need more than one, <laughs> but... We'll see how it goes. So this is the Dodic and Anki that we were going to get rid of. At least they have a use now, right? And then I'm thinking, probably take the flamethrower, a fabricated rifle, and then the shotgun. And those three things should be enough. And then for the food for it, we're going to need the shovel and then some of the clay pots. We'll kind of worry about that after we get it tamed, if we get one tamed. Not even sure if we'll get one tamed in this video, but we'll attempt it, man. We'll see how it is. See how the mechanics are for it, too. And all we have to do is put the death essence in the, the little water pool on its back. And there's a wave defense supposed to be for vultures that come in. You protect the, I don't know if it's a tame or the oasis soar from the vultures. There's like four or five waves, and then that's how you tame it. So we'll see, man, we'll see. Let's see about doing some upgrades on this. We need to repair it first, though. And we need to make a fabricated sniper rifle and probably upgrade that as well. So let's do repairs. And then we'll do repairs. And how is our armor, too, while we're here? Uh, let's go ahead and do repairs on everything, man. Not sure if we get attacked or how that works out, so we'll kind of see. Now, whenever I do my research for taming and stuff, it's usually not too much. I kind of just see the basics, and then I want to skip the rest and kind of uh, figure it out as I go. It's, it's not always the best strategy, but I like learning some stuff instead of seeing how to do it all, you know, on the videos and stuff. So there's all that. Let's make the rifle. I thought about taking a long neck in, but the reload is super, super slow on it. I don't ever use the Fabricated because I don't think they do too much damage, right? Could be wrong, could be wrong. Need to see about ammo for that as well. We should have some up in here. I think it's these. We've got 84. Might be enough. Probably make some more. And then for the shotgun, that's 500. That should be plenty, man. Should we take our... Take this too, just in case. I'm not sure if we get damage from the vultures or not. And I went ahead and made up a bunch of the the fuel for the flamethrower. So we got 491. That should be enough, I hope. Otherwise, I need to make some more gas. That, that it, it's, it's very expensive for making the uh, fuel for that thing. So let's start off with the flamethrower. And we're going to need sulfur. Not a problem. We got a ton of that from whenever I was farming up the saddles for the basilisk. Dude, those nodes were everywhere. That and the... The raw salt, right? We're gonna need ingots. What else do we need? Cement paste? Okay. I think it said polymer 2 at the top. 
Use the regular sheets, not the organic. I want to save that for making our, our ghillie suit. Electronics. Oh, yeah, I forgot, man. Super, super expensive. Now, we don't have too many of the electronics. It's like... We got more than I thought. I thought we only had around 2,000. We got 4,000. And that should be it for this. So I'm hoping it gets... around 400%. And durability just needs to be a lot higher, man. This thing breaks super, super fast. Okay. Two clicks. It's jumping a, uh, a tier each time instead of giving us more than one. I mean, it's the way that it rolls sometimes. 287! That is not much, dude! 205 on durability. Okay, so we have this. Let's work on this. Got all the stuff in here, luckily. Two clicks on green. Three clicks on green. I like it. This might actually turn out to be a very good sniper rifle. We're almost out of cement paste. We're out! We got some of the snail paste, though. Very, very little. Might be enough. That's not too bad, man. 460%. Now, these two things I'm not making into blueprints. We'll probably just keep them like they are. And I'll never use them again. <laughs> the only thing I use the flamethrower for is getting rid of the weeds when I'm building. So we got... 76. Let's make some more ammo for this guy. And that's which one? Sniper bullet. We actually have everything. Let's do... 400? I mean, it's fine. Make what we have. Almost 400. Okay, that'll work out. So, regardless, we got this and the shotgun that'll work. Now, I've heard that the flamethrower is very good for the, like, fourth and fifth wave, or the last two. Because the, the creatures, right? Apparently, there's a bunch of them that come in at once. So, the first wave's supposed to be not too many. And then they increase as it goes on. So the flamethrower, right? It has like an AOE. So you don't really have to aim. The problem is, man, let's get away from base. I don't know if that'll burn our stuff. The problem is, it, it uses so much ammo. So fa <gasps> Holy crap, dude! You're right? You're on fire! I'm just saying. Look, buddy. Look, my bad. I forgot you're over here. See, that's what I'm talking about. Is you can't see the the tails whenever you relog. I forgot you were here, man! You're right! Oh, you're fine, dude. It was like a little flesh wound. You're fine, dude. You're fine. Now, the thing is... Where's the other one? <laughs> dude, that scared the crap out of me. There's two of them! See, here's the other one. You can't see the, the mount. There you go. There's my breeding pair. <laughs> oh, I was trying to show you the flamethrower. The problem is the uh, the ammo. If you watch it down there, it goes away so fast, dude. So I'm not too sure about that how it's gonna work out because you do gotta reload it. It has that long reload time. Speaking of that, let's reload this. So we'll see. We'll see, man. We got three weapons to use for the uh, the creatures now. With the sniper, we can at least kind of pick them off as they're flying in, and that might kind of work out a little bit better than waiting until they get up to us. But then we got the shotgun, too, right? Whenever they get all the way up to us, we can use that. We'll, we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll kind of play it by ear. Let's put these guys away. Dude, that scared me so bad, man. Holy crap. All right, so let's grab the rest of our ammo. And I think we're kind of set. Oh, medical brew. We'll grab some of that, too. Just in case we take damage. We are super overweight. Let's leave... something. Probably some of the ammo. I don't think we're going to need 800 shots on the sniper. Let's put it over here. Let's leave half of the, the ammo for that. Let's fill up our water. Where is our... Water tank's right there. Let's put on our pants. A little bit awkward, just saying. Got our food. We need some medical brew, and let's leave some more of our ammo too. I know we just made it all, but it's fine. We don't need the shovel either. We can get that afterwards. Let's leave half. I think half will be fine. I'm gonna have that other set of armor just in case. If we move, we can. All right. Now I'm thinking about going up on the moth. Possibly, maybe we'll go on the other dragon. I don't have ours. It's over on the center, our normal one. 
I'm going to take any of these, though. Should work out. Let's put you just in here for the moment. I think we're kind of set, right? We got water, we got food, we got medical brew, we got some gear. We got two tames. Hopefully we don't need a third one. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Alright, let's do this. Throw the dragon out over here. <laughs> dude. Oh, man. Those snakes, they scared the crap out of me, dude. Where did it go, man? Where did it go sometimes? But we'll get up here, try to get this guy tamed up, and then try to walk him back if we can. And they kind of hover too, right? Which way are we going? Over here. They kind of hover, so not too sure the mechanics on that. We'll kind of figure it out after we get it tamed up, though. So here's Junior here. He's got the trees, he's got some salt. And then he's got some cactus, too. Now, I think that the resources on the back dictate what they passively produce. Not too sure about that. Again, we'll figure that out once we get it tamed. Let's try to land on this guy, though. And we gotta watch out whenever we jump off of our, our dragon that we don't get thrown off. Because this guy is moving, right? There we go, man. There we go. Yep, see? See? Easy! Easy! Holy crap, dude! <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be interesting. Let's pick you up just in case we get thrown off. And I think all we have to do is come up to the undrinkable water, which is super weird. Access the inventory. And then drop one of these in. Let's do the Anki first. We'll start off with this. Protect the creature to tame the Oasisaur. Got a health bar on him? Okay. One shot. I like it. I'm not sure how many vultures are on each wave. I can't shoot. That was super weird. Can we not shoot if we're in the water? We can shoot. It's like it was blocking my, uh, my gun from working. Let's reload while we can. Maybe I should have made a second one of the rifles. Well, that's super simple. For the moment, I like the butterflies. The runs! You're making noise! So is that the taming bar there? 25%? Oh, it says right there. 26.6%. That's not too bad. So it's gonna be four waves, not five. Interesting. Is that... Is that it for wave one? I didn't see a banner on the screen that says if it is or isn't. Maybe I missed it. Maybe there wasn't one. Let's go ahead and just reload. New wave incoming. Okay. Ooh, they're tougher. Two shots to kill each one. One shot on that one. Let's reload. Uh-huh. Almost made it in, but I got the shotgun after him. So some are two shots, some are one shot. Kind of interesting. Let's reload. Now, I'm not sure if it's different from single player and servers with the taming progress. How many waves there is? Uh, I'm guessing so, right? Was that it for that wave? Oh, 53%. Okay, so it is. Nice, man. Nice. That's not too bad so far. So far. That's the, the key part, is so far. Haven't seen the thing for the new wave. Now, I heard that you can use creatures too, like the dragons. But, I don't know. I think if you damage the Oasisaur... It takes away from your taming or something like that, so... Probably best not to. That one's dead. Deleted him out of existence. Two shots on you, okay. Guessing headshot is the, uh, the one-shot one. Oh, reload. Let's do the, uh, the shotgun. Dude, I hit him with that, man. Shotgun. Okay, let's do... Flamethrower. No! Flamethrower! Six! Dude, he's down to half already! Holy crap, dude! We are not doing very much damage at all with the flamethrower, dude! Okay, that is not gonna work. Why can I not hit you? Stop reloading! We lost almost all the health on that guy. On that one. We got one, uh... One round left. Okay. Don't panic, man. Don't panic. Reload. Reload. 
We good? We all right? Count your shots, count your shots, reload. I think the flamethrower is not going to work. The shotgun was not hitting the, uh, the vultures, man. Where's the next wave? One more wave. And this guy should be ours. <laughs> I'm hoping, dude. I'm hoping, man. Where are they at? There's one. Two shots. Two shots. Let's reload. Let's just use the sniper rifle. Seems like it might be the better thing. Oh, dude, we're gonna we're gonna lose it. We're gonna lose it here at the end. Please, no, no, it failed. Took too much damage. The oasis sword took damage, or that thing took damage. So here's the thing, dude. Is that blocking our shots? That creature floating in the middle. If so, that's gonna be horrible for trying to to kill those off whenever it starts getting on that. You know. Hmm. We got one more. Let's let's try it again. We are reloaded. So what we need to do is... Now what if the health on that creature matters? Because those are super low level. Well, I mean, it's dead, so... I guess it doesn't matter. Hmm. Maybe we'll try the, uh... The flamethrower again. Possibly. Already taking damage. Already taking damage. Third one. And fourth. Already took some damage. One hit, but still. We need all that we can have at the uh, the last round, you know? Okay. That one's done. Wave complete. Green bar up there. I didn't see it before. Is that... 50% now? I can't see the... Uh, give me progress thing. Alright, watch out for the vultures, man. I wish it would come from me, not the, the creature, you know. But it kind of takes away from the uh, the taming aspect, right? New wave incoming, okay? Need some turrets up here is what we need. Missed. Missed. Need to have one shot, one kill, man. Let's reload while we can. <gasps> he came in fast! I didn't see that one! Got him, though. Got him, though. We lucked out. Okay, okay, okay. Totally missed. I saw that. I saw that. No! Reloading! So it's super hard to hit them. Whenever they, uh... They coming close. Is that not 100% taming almost? I can't see the progress on it. Little uh, icon's not popping up. We good? We right? Make a lot of noise! Just saying, dude, just saying. Yes, yeah, so we need to wait for the vultures to swing out around this way and shoot them there with a the shotgun. Not try to shoot in here. Because then we're damage, damaging the, uh, the team here. Right? Here we go. Okay. Make every bullet count. <gasps> no! Oh, dude. Um... Six. Aim it this way, aim it this way, aim it this way. Okay, there we go. Those are level 150 vultures, dude. Almost, almost, come on! Reload it, reload it. Reload this too. Another one coming in, another, another wave, another wave! Okay, okay. Stand back. The flames do their work. They are not doing very much damage at all to those vultures, dude! There's one there still! Junior! Oh, we got it! Oh, dude, fantastic! That was 
horrible, man. <laughs> that was terrible. I mean, it's kind of a cool mechanic, but the thing in the middle, hold on. Just in case. The thing in the middle, it doesn't let you shoot through it, right? That should be like, no collision on it. So you can actually take out the teams around it. Super weird, dude, super weird. Nice, man, nice. Junior! Are you coming back to life, buddy? Look, man, look, you deserve it, okay? Why do you look so weird? Your head looks like the wrong size. Interesting. Anyways, so do we have to raise that guy up? Now, I think for the the mechanics of this, right, is if your creature dies, you can bring it back here, the essence, and then bring it back to life. Now, does that just kind of start it from the baby stage? And you don't have your imprint or anything either. Seems how we do all of ours in the terminal. Now, can I pick this guy up? Oh, I can. So it totally brings it back like that. Interesting. Kind of weird. I don't think I'm going to use that mechanic because, again, it, it, to me, in Ark, part of it is protecting your tame. So if you lose your tame, that's kind of kind of on you, right? And you should have to start over from the uh, from scratch. So for this, we got health. It's a level one still. Okay, so I'm guessing level one is just the default, right? We got twenty thousand on health. Stamina is a hundred. Food is eighty-eight hundred, and then oh, he's hungry. And then weight is twenty-five hundred. He's still gaining health, even though he doesn't have any food. And will he starve? I don't know. Can we ride you? How does that work? We can. You have no legs! So Spacebar sets him down. He's kind of, uh, bulking slow. Not your fault, buddy! Not your fault! You got a weird-looking head. Just saying. Kind of reminds me of the forest tightening a little bit, you know? They don't have any... No attacks. And then you go into... Flying turtle mode. Now, why would you use this instead of... Oh, he actually flies! I thought he just hovered over the ground! That's kind of cool. A little bit weird. Tell you what, while we're out here... We need to find some cactus sap. Or not cactus sap, but, uh, cactus. And see about... We don't have any of the, uh, the clay pots. Let's go back to base. We need some of the clay pots. And then we can actually get him some food. Now, all we gotta do is dig up some of the shrubs and stuff around. Are you alright? I think he uses stamina flying, right? It's at 83.2. Let's fly for a second. I hear you! You're very noisy! 88. So it doesn't use any... Any stamina while you're flying. Well, that's super weird! I didn't realize these things actually flew. I thought they just kind of hovered over the ground for, like, water areas and stuff. So, <laughs> it's literally going to be a mobile base if we build one on here. Which I want to. We don't have the cactus over here that I'm looking for. Oh, there's one of the weird trees, too, in front of us. I had a base. I know I saw him somewhere. But yeah, let's get up to base here. Leave him. Jump on the dragon. And go to get him some food. Because otherwise, he's going to be hollering and yelling like crazy. So you use stamina if you sprint. Now I wonder, can the UD fear roar this guy? I'd like to not find out, if possible. I know you got some levels. Let's put it into... Health goes up almost a thousand. Stamina goes up... Ten. Okay. And then the, what's the weight on it? Twenty-five hundred. Not very much at all. Dude. This guy, the noise he makes... It might be because he's hungry. Now, if so, I get it. I totally get it. You know, my stomach grumbles whenever I'm hungry, too. But what's the, the buff down there on the bottom right? Gaia's Embrace, I think was the name of it. And what is that for? It stacks. And each stack is like 30 seconds, so not too sure what that's about. Let's land you over here. Do not knock over my trees. I tell you what, I will throw you to the sandworms if you do. This guy's massive. I thought he was going to easily fit up here. And there goes a tree right there. Look, Junior. <laughs> You're not starting off very good. Put down your landing gear. Yep, there goes some more. Oh, dude. Watch your step, buddy. Little claw feet. Little crab feet is what it is. So let's put you... Yep, all the trees, dude. All the trees. Let's put you right here. You're right. 
or back in the water. Now, do you have anything in your inventory? You don't. How does the passive... ...generation work? You know? And all this stuff, you can't actually destroy it, right? Okay? I'm sorry, buddy. Look, man, look, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. You all right? Why are you floating? Land. Stay here. Okay, stay here. Do you just not like being on the ground? Where are you going? Is he trying to fly back home? Junior! Buddy, man, buddy! Oh, he's on follow, isn't he? Because I, t I tamed him. Stay here! Where are you going? Look, dude! His health is so low. We need to get him some food, man. I don't- oh wait, there's a storage there. His health is going up. Why did it go down so far? Now it's going back up. Interesting. Weird! Wait, don't get on him. I want to go get him some food. Where was the storage at? There was another storage... ...that had his, uh... ...resources in it. Alright, let's, let's get him food, man. We'll figure that out here in a minute. That's a very... ...long fall. You're weird, dude. You're weird, okay? I'm just saying. We'll go on this guy. Who looks tiny compared to him. Let's get some of the clay pots made. Can we do that from our... Not that. Let's make ten. I don't know how much food he gets for each one of the shrubs and stuff, or if it consumes the clay pots. Hopefully not, because that'll be super expensive. To keep him kind of fed, you know? Let's drop off some gear. We are super, super heavy. So, sniper rifle. And flamethrower. is definitely the way to go. Not, um... Can I not drop that directly into the thing? Not the, uh, the shotgun. That's right, kind of good there. Let's leave our gear as well. And then we can leave Junior... Uh, we'll just leave him in our inventory. I, I don't want him. <laughs> I need to kill him off again. But let's jump on the dragon and try to get some of the cactus. Now, I heard that's the best. Let's just grab one of the, uh, the plants from over here. Give him something to nibble on. I need a shovel. Something to hold him over till we get back. I don't want him to die from starving. Dude, I would be so super sad. Holy crap, that was a huge boost. Alright. Let's see how you feel about this. It's not what I wanted. There we go. We'll give you one of these. Do, do, do you have a certain flavor that you like? Okay. You'll get what I give you then. Give him some cactus, just saying. Might want some of that. That's enough, man. That's enough. Let's go up to one of his little toes here. Claws, toes, whatever it is. So his food is zero. I don't know what's what. That one was 24. That was also 24. 25, whatever you want to call it. Same with that. Are they all the same? That one was more, I think. Maybe not, they're all the same. They're all about the same. That is not very much food at all, dude! To fill it up to 8,800? Holy crap, man. So health is going up. Let's uh, leave that. Let's jump on this guy. Let's find some of the big cactus. I heard that was the best food for him, and I think there's some over here. Where are we at? Yeah, right over here. So give me a minute, let me fly over to him. We'll grab some and see how that does on food. That's kind of the main thing is keeping him alive. And then I think for the Thames, right? For reviving them. It's only one per 24 hours. Or something like that. And the thing is, if you put them into a soul trap and bring them back out, I think it kind of resets the whole 24 hour timer on them too. Like, like makes it to where you gotta wait 24 hours to, to use them. So that kind of sucks because your essence only lasts for 24 hours. So that means you have to leave that guy out all the time, which is super, super annoying. My shovel broke. 
So I didn't get the, uh, the full amount. But we did get some. Had to go way over by the green obelisk to actually grab them. You doing alright? You're looking pretty rough. So, 9100. Our, our food is almost 150. 221. So it all goes up about the same, man. That is not very much, dude. That is horrible for feeding this guy. I think that's the only way you can feed him, too. Now, that was the actual cactus trees, plus a couple of the different bushes around there, too. So after all that, we're up to only 400. <laughs> all right, so I wanted to see about the resources, right? Okay, so they're right here. So we get cactus sap, crystal, fiber, oil, salt, sand, silk, and wood. I mean, that's not too bad. And that was from... Oh, right there. Resources. And that is his inventory. Okay, so it's a little bit different. Hmm! So for the... Let's grab a sheep. Do some testing. I thought I had my glider suit on for a second. Look, man. We haven't been on this map versus the other one in... A little bit. Let's grab two of the sheep, though. We'll kill them off. Do some testing. Let's do it over here by our chainsaw. Can definitely use all the hide. Well, let's not do it inside. It'll make a mess. I don't want to have to clean the floors. Alright. Get this out. Everybody on passive, please. I need to grab our chainsaw as well. So that'll be one. And two on the essence. I tell you what, let's just not use a chainsaw. For time reasons, it'll take forever to get all of the, uh, the hide from that guy. Use a saber. We don't get very much, but... Better than nothing. We're hungry. Thirsty. Main thing I want is the bag. Alright, so, I think we have the ability to uh, bring one back. Now, is there the way to fence every time you want to bring a team back? If so, <laughs> that is horrible, dude. We put it in here. Nope. Right. We should have the option. That's the resources. Oh, right there. So we do have to wait because it gave us back the Dodic when we tamed him. Okay, so we're at 2344. It's. I'm gonna die from this, you know? Okay, let's go back up top. <gasps> Where's your stuff? Where's your trees, buddy? Well, that kind of sucks. All the stuff is gone. The whole point of having this one was to build on them with the trees. <sighs> Anyways. Okay, it doesn't reset the timer. So we're still good, man. We're still good. Alright. So that kind of works. We can keep him in the soul trap. Now that all this stuff is gone, I don't know if it'll kind of repopulate whenever I relog or what. But, kind of weird. Kind of cool. Oh, we're going to fall again. <laughs> kind of a cool creature. The taming was not too bad. We, uh... We lost it the first time. Well, let's just pick you up. We got him on the second one, so luckily we had two of those there. And like I said, I probably won't use him for anything other than building on him, which... I might go force tame one that looked like him and bring him over here and do building on that because I really wanted to build around the trees and then we'll just kind of keep this one in the terminal and I don't want to really use them for bringing our stuff back because it's kind of weird, man. Like I said, part of arc is losing your tames and keeping your tames, right? We still got the buff, which is weird. I don't know what the buff is for. Does it help with our health? Kind of that, that blue glow around us, you know? Put you back over here, Junior. But yeah, the, uh, the sniper and the flamethrower is definitely the way to go on taming those. Ah, dude, well, 
Not too bad of a day. It went fairly well. Kind of a cool creature, but not something I can see myself using. Like I said, I want to build a base on it, maybe in the next video. Small little outpost to see how it looks. Not sure how big we can actually build on it. We'll kind of figure that out whenever we start doing the actual build, right? Do some testing, put down some foundations, see if there's a height limit, see if there's a weight limit, and kind of go from there. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.